let's go. All right. So I didn't do anything between the last episode. So what we'll be doing is uh, continuing onward to see if we can change the timeline and make NCR and Crusaders be friends. Somehow. It does seem like the uh, quest to help uh, or uh, the Corvega factory heist seems like it is what's going to end up changing things here. I actually want to see if this doctor's back in his office. I'm actually really curious. Because if he's not, we uh, might be screwed for that Charlene quest. Which I'm thinking it might end up being what we need to convince the Domino. Am I, like, completely lost? Where the fuck is this town at? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's up that way, of course. <clears throat> yes. What is this? Well, the postal exchange is right here, which means the clinic is over this way. Yeah. So the doctor guy should be right here. That's just Nurse Sally. Yeah, the doctor's still gone. Oof. Well, that is a uh, bit of a pickle. Well, we'll see if that is the case indeed. But first, let's investigate this house, shall we? See what uh, what's there and everything. Okay, this way. Over. Okay. Is it this house here? I forget why we're investigating this house. Or, like, who we even talked to about it. Oh, hey. Who are you again? Elliot Anderson? Okay. Oh. Uh, Elliot Anderson. Okay. Got an NCR doctor here. Oh, this is the... Okay, yeah, I remember now. We uh, looked at a wanted... Or a, a missing person poster. And this doctor was the one who we were uh, trying to find here. It looks like therapy journal, therapy journal, therapy journal. Oof, it's a lot of shit. Let's just look at this... Uh, terminal instructions. Well, patient number 99, Elliot Anderson, has been absent for the last three sessions. I'm unable to contact his longtime girlfriend, Nicole... I'm entering Elliot's house now to try and find out why Elliot has been missing. He'll... Uh, I expect he'll be somewhat agitated, so I... Uh, and I'm assuming he got knocked out there. And then I'm guessing all of these uh, therapy sessions are the doctor, like, trying to help him. Also, that's number 10. Covered in blood a little bit. Blood of will look, look in the stars, and the stars, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like he's uh, lost his mind. Okay. So is the guy's girlfriend's body also in here somewhere? Like in this thing, maybe? I don't know. Some pencils, Therapy Journal 5. Note from a friend, huh? Hello, Elliot. I've heard you needed a peaceful place to live after what happened at a bright town. Me and Joseph found this house while, uh, back, a while back, while me and Star were looking for a place to live. Since Star is gone, the place is yours now. When you feel up to it, hit me up, and we can go to the Wasteland Angel and get some beers. Aw. That's not how I was expecting that uh, garbage can to open, but that, that works, okay? Hmm. Well... He's got a uh, revolver, a couple pre-war books, and nothing else. So did that complete the quest? Or, wait, investigate the door? The, 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 oh. Uh, quest completed, home sweet home. Network fame has been gained. 
Okay. Well. I'm just gonna get a closer ranged weapon out for this, I think. Oh! Well then. Are these all ruined holotapes? Man, if I was an asshole dev, I would like hide one working holotape along all those. Just to, you know, really like mess people up. Like, ah, you found this. Congratulations. Okay. Are these plasma mines? Yep. Ooh, a minigun, huh? What else we got here? <laughs> Smell loot. We got a leaf blower, of course, a broken terminal. We've got conductor, a lead pipe, turpentine, another broken terminal. Is this guy's girlfriend's body really not down here? Hmm. Figured it would be. What is uh just a Tesla coil arc thing? Okay. Brotherhood terminal? Brotherhood eyes only. Details. Listening post Alpha, the frontier formerly known as Portland. Reports suspicious activity in the region. California base. Listening post leader scrap Jonathan. Staff. Uh, scribe Johannan uh, Paladin yada 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 Alpha's logs, okay. Blah 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 blah. Screw protocol, we're going to die. I don't I don't know how, but the enclave are here and up there. I need to get through this jamming field to get to it. They're gone. We just abandoned the post. Oh my god. Wait, they're coming back. How did they? Oh god, the holotapes are still playing. Got unmanned drones in a nearby clearing. Scribe Mark was killed on the way back. The survivors told me the drone was accompanied by two Enclave soldiers. Unknown tape? Okay. About a note about holotape player. Make sure to take the holotapes out of the player when no one is using it. The player doesn't have any stop function so the tape will just keep playing indefinitely since anyone upstairs could hear the hollow tape if they listen for it there could be a security risk okay was that the quest it was the quest okay okay well we can go back to the communications officer here Yes. Are those holotapes ruined because they were left in the recording thing for a long time, or...? So... That's Elliot Anderson. Ha. Huh. I guess I'm not sure what actually, like, happened here. Take letter of leave. Hmm. Whatever. I'm out here. Okay, well. That was a thing that it exists. What a weird little missing person quest, huh? Right, let's go talk to the communications officers, see if they have any uh, ideas here. She's sleeping? Hey, communication officer! Jesus Christ. Hey there! How can I help you? Um, came to check on the NCR bug? It's perfect! NCR chatter is coming in loud and clear. Hopefully the NCR brass talks more about troop movements than lunch options. Ah, uh, I just jinxed myself. They're talking about movements a nasty breakfast gave them. Never gonna look at sugar bombs the same way. Ugh. That aside, tell Clements the ear hears all. Of course. I almost left clicked as soon as that mission was over and shot her in the face. So, uh, glad that didn't occur. Did I say mission? I meant as soon as the, like, uh, dialogue ended, I almost shot her in the fucking face. That would have been bad. Uh, okay. Let's go talk to Clemens. Every time I come into this place, I see the, the movement of the uh, troopers 
like changing their stance, and I'm like, oh shit, did I fuck something up and they're gonna kill me? Holy shit, that's a lot of fusion. So, Good to see you again. Hey, Clemens, we got a lot. Fantastic. This will definitely give us a drop on old Blackthorn and his pals. Once again, you proved yourself and you're quite the infiltrator. Here, I figured these might help you out. Molly found some old Watts rifles rusting away and did her magic to them. Molly wanted to call them Hell's Ambassadors, but we decided it might be best to just go with energy sniper rifles. Anyway. Oh yeah, I got an energy sniper rifle. Completed, okay. Welcome, young blood. Hey, you wanna uh Tobin squared away, unfunked and published like trophy by mechanics. Rifle, Take a look. Actually, it's actually stronger than uh Really? The other one wasn't that strong, was it? Is this because it's a special one? How much is away? Eight pounds. Eh, doesn't matter. If I'm stealthed, I can kill everything with the uh, Cobra Sniper, so... Yoink. Okay. Bye. Okay. So do I have any more... quests currently? Not really. Hey, Clemens, you got anything for me, man? Good to see you again. Uh, okay. Let's go talk to Molly, see if she's got anything else. I know I'm currently doing a quest for her, but you never know. Yo, Molly. Might have to explore around more or something. Hey, newbie. What can I do for Let's see. Turn that Watts into a sniper rifle. A bottle of scotch I found in the round table room. Drank half, blacked out, and poof. Okay. Apparently, drunk Molly has some... Okay. Well, she has nothing else for me then. So, also, I'm still disguised as NCR. I'm actually surprised they didn't kill me on site when I got in here. Let me... I know I have my advanced radiation suit. I'm gonna drop this fucking ghillie cave. I don't need this. Okay. So there's that one level of this place that's like irradiated I'm wondering if I have this on if I can go in there now because it does say something about like a special suit that you need but I'm not sure if just a radiation suit counts a CEVA suit what is a CEVA suit let me I'm gonna search real quick CEVA CEVA suit. I just want to see what it looks like. I might not keep it. CEV29. Wait, what? I put that in wrong? Oh, it's DB. Hold up. DB. Hmm? Oh, I need a uh, one afterwards? Okay. What does this thing look like? Current armor covers both your body and head. You will not be able to equip certain headgear without this. The hell is this? What? Huh? Where would I ever have, like, found this armor at? It looks semi like. No, it has spikes on the helmet. I don't think they would do that to this kind of stuff. Fuck it, let's take a look. I needed this suit and not like something else with this. A laundry room key, huh? Drop code jumpsuits, boxes of detergent. Can't really see anything properly here. Oh, there's another slime there. Okay. Scientist 
first outfit. Oh, hey, it's fine. I was going to the wall then. Scrubs. Bronco jumpsuits. I'm assuming I don't want to go off yet. Clearly radioactive liquid on the ground. Or do I? I don't think it matters. There's just a lot of radiation. Okay. Oh. here before we die. Get some rad eggs too, why not? Okay. Got it. I'm still curious what this place is for. I got a nail gun. before though. Is there actually anything important in here? It looks like no. Is there a local map that might have? No. There's nothing else here. I just got that laundry room key and that brought me through here. And that was all. Really? What does this armor do? Radiation resistance plus 40? My, my other armor could have done that. What? Hmm. What? I feel like this floor is pointless then. If all I got was a nail gun. Like, I've had one of these before. It's not like they're good weapons either. It's just, oh, congratulations, you have a nail gun. Huh. Well, that was unnecessary. go up to the medical floor real quick. I don't think she's going to be here, but we might as well take a peek. See if somehow after various loads, Charlene is alive. Here. I don't think she will be, though. Wait, why is Charlene here? Huh? gotten alert that Charlene was here yet. I guess let's do some brain surgery again. Fill a hole. Examine the implant. Remove the implant. Get rid of that. And Charlene's okay now. Wow. Okay. So that's done.
to recover any of her time. Can I help you with something? I'm good. Okay, so did that get rid of that quest? Oh, I can talk to her now? Okay, that's interesting. But is it going to be her being like, yeah, we're going to wage war on such and such, or is it going to be, uh, yeah, we'll let the NCR live now. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Also, what is this for? See, I was thinking that the key card would be in that area that no crusaders are at, but I didn't see a key card in there. Huh. Anyway. Domino? It's a pleasure to see you again. Talk about the NCR? Oh. I guess you wanted to see me? Since you are the one who is striving for peace between us and the NCR, I feel it is only appropriate that you deliver my request for a peace talk. You certainly changed my mind about the matter. Oh? So too, I hope you can warm Blackthorn to a chance of peace. Deliver my message and return here ASAP. Okay, I don't know what I did, but I saw I changed the timeline. So, it seems like if I would have done the Corvega factory mission, and then came back, everything gets buffed. So, immediately after the Corvega one, it's like it forces you. Hey, wait, didn't I get like a. I got. No, that was. I'm remembering Molly gave me access to some guy's, like, office or something? But I don't remember where it was at, right? Also, what's that elevator for? That's odd. This is just a storage area. I'm trying to find where this key card is at so I can see what that does. You know what I'm saying? Some of that Crusaders are not at. Well, there's that one area, but it wouldn't be there, would it? Those are just stairs down. Just more sleeping quarters. Just more sleeping quarters. Some other stuff that I've not seen yet. Um, hold on. I have it easier to use the elevator here. So, let's do a quick sweep of the area. We'll start with the ground floor. Look for anywhere that uh, there's a door or something that I could access, get into. The Crusaders would not have been in yet. This is all just their offering boxes. Stuff important. Anything else here? Hey! Um, auto store. Welcome back, dear customer. No, you just sell me stuff. I was thinking she might have like a option where I can be like, hey. Open up the secret passage, question mark. You know. Just, uh, vase, okay. I'm pretty sure I've already looked in both the bathrooms. Yep. You can tell because all the doors are open on this one. It's just a protectron thing. Let's head up to the third floor. Okay. This is the armory with Clemens and that guy. Also, hey, you want to buy this nail gun that Welcome I got? Welcome, young blood. Sir? One sec, the game locked up. It does this. It's all been there squared away, unfunked, and polished like trophies by the mechanics. Here's Take this, a look. Uh, this nail gun, sir. Thank you for your money. Bop and out. Okay.
Oh. Forsyth's old office. Okay. This is where that's at. Okay. Got a Crusader Carapace. Which weighs way too much to be useful. We got a wardrobe, which has... What was that? A duffel? Blue, red? Hmm. Some random stuff here. We got just soup that's been in this room for God knows how long. Here. There's only one room. This is the only room I can think of that would have like an extra key card in it, right? Because I've never been here before. Both on SMG. A bunch of ammunition. Whatever the hell that is. I'll take it. Plasma Edge. Crusader Carapus Helmet. Empty box. And filing cabinets, huh? Really? No, just random key card, huh? Radiation sickness treatment guide. Doesn't matter. Huh. Let's look at these new weapons I got. We got the plasma edge, which is a melee weapon. Drop that. We got the PT 900, which looks like it, some sort of plasma caster kind of thing. Oh, it's a, a plasma flamethrower. That's actually kind of lovely. I like that. We'll see if it does actually damage or anything first. But. Okay, well, this is uh, not where the key card is at. I do have that, like, sight that lets me see key cards and keys with that glowing like essence so it should be clearly visible somewhere that I don't have access to I can think this testing vault maybe because no one was in here until Molly and I went in but I thought I swept the area pretty Clearly. Maybe it was in a container I didn't look in or something? Take another look around, huh? Actually, let's look at the map. Yeah, I went everywhere here. Okay. So it could be that it's in something, or just lying in somewhere that I didn't look. These are just bodies, just a bunch of arms lying around here. It's funny. Okay. In there. So I went up that side. I didn't go this side though. Perhaps it's up here for some reason? I don't see anything. Hmm. If I were a key card, where would I be? That door's inaccessible. There's nothing here. Just tell me anything? No, that was all stuff we'd already read. How about the clinic? What's that? Just reading glasses. Terminal you can't use. Nothing on those shelves. Nothing over here. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing in this area. Huh. Where else is there, like, a place the Crusaders haven't accessed in their own tower, I wonder? Local map time, maybe? 
testing vault, the stairs, fourth site's office, and everything else I've searched. Okay. How about the medical wing? Let's see here. Doesn't look like anything would be here. I guess the shower room, maybe? There's something weird in there? We can check it. I think the shower room is just like a, a very basic shower with like nothing in it, though. That's just a very basic room. Just some hangers. No like key card or anything in here. It's just one exit, one entrance. Destroyed terminals and shit? Nah, it's just books. I already fixed that. That's there. Display cases. Eh? What was that? No, it's just empty. Clipboards, pencils. Sponge. I mean, it wouldn't be anything in the obvious sight. It'd have to be something that's like hidden, at least, right? I already looted, right? I remember that now. Liquid nitrogen tanks. Okay. Display cases there. I'm still actually shocked I can't, like, deactivate these things. That they said way in the beginning that we're like kind of running rampant. It's weird, you know? We're gonna be able to do that. Is there really nothing else on this floor? Maybe there's some hidden passage on the round table conference floor? I mean, I doubt it, but. You never know. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else. There's no other floor. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Destroyed party hat. Let me look at this again. What does this say when I hit it? Just look for a key card in this receptacle. You wonder if the key card might still be somewhere in the tower and it might and what it might open. It's probably not in the populated areas of the Rob Caraco Tower. Otherwise someone would have found it, but perhaps it's somewhere in an area no crusaders are present. Right. Like that makes sense, but there's only one area that crusaders aren't present in, in the tower. And we already searched that area. Pretty sure. I searched everything there anyway. Unless there's like a another area in that area that I just missed, or I think I looked at everything. That's the ground floor. Is there anything else down? Nope. We look at the stairways. Nope, nothing like hidden anywhere. Alright, let me go up. 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 Oh, okay, where's the uh seal suit? Yeah, I can't go there without the suit on. Let's just equip it. Okay. So this is the only floor 
and there's no people on, right? But if there's a key card, it should be glowing blue for me. Unless it's like hidden inside something. Which if that's the case, it'd be a lot harder to find. Scrubs, bottle caps and scrubs, bottle caps and scrubs. Why is my health low? Holy shit. What happened there? Huh? Was my health being drained because of the radiation? That's weird. It's not in that obvious briefcase. I'm just losing health randomly on this floor for some reason. I don't see anything here. Was there some, like, what the slime was carrying it? Or it's on a chest that I didn't see? Or. Nope. Weird if it was in a vending machine. There's another jumpsuit. Why aren't you glowing? What? Are you kidding me? Well, we found it. Yep. I guess that's that. It makes sense. Okay. Well, we spent. Longer than necessary searching for that, huh? Okay. Now then, let's see what this does. It was down the floor, right? Okay. I'm gonna do a quick save here just in case it's like, you're gonna destroy the tower. Congratulations. One of those weird things, right? Okay. Key card. As the key slides in, you hear a whiny motors and a slight vibration beneath your feet. Suggests the motors moved something nearby. A secret elevator was found. Okay. This? Apartment elevator to Rebronco Penthouse. Looks like you're moving up the world champ. You've unlocked the ability to use the Rebronco Penthouse. A place of residence while working with the Crusaders. The items can be safely stored here, and America will turn here when dismissed. Uh, America? Are you back? I doubt it. She's kind of stuck in purgatory. Huh, so now I can just go wherever I please, and there's just stairs that I can't access. That's, that's a weird shower. Also, these uh, corridors are kind of kind of sketchy. Forgive me, Marilyn. A dresser, sexy sleepwear for your eyes only. Uh, Vulcan Warhammer. Okay, wall safe. We got a uh, absinthe, got some bottle caps, some sarsaparilla. Nothing important in here, it looks like. There's a lot of crates and boxes, huh? Anything of uh, value in here? Hold up. Ah, nope. I was hoping maybe something interesting. Just like a lot of artwork and shit, huh? Must be like a storage area or something for him. Where's all his countless artworks and stuff? Open door to there. That's where we came in at. Okay. What we got here? Any other good loot? Lying, congressional style. 
Oh, Sierra Madre chips, huh? Couple more of them. A lot of chips, huh? Okay. Car magazine. Oh, hello, Mr. House. How are you doing? Just like a lounge room. Lucky 48 over there. Refrigerator with some nonsense in it. Radio, which open to breach outreach. Polly Pigtails magazine for girls. Okay. Hmm. Well, nothing too fancy in here, but let's check out this. Uh, Working Warhammer, I guess? Can only be wielded with the assistance of power armor. It's an EMP bonus damage versus robots. And power armor, huh? I don't really fight anything that has those uh, traits. So, ooh, a lava lamp, too. That's cool. So, I guess I'll just go ahead and put this back in. Oh! How did I miss that? Um, well, for your eyes only, Robert, you were right again. That bump in West Tech's stock price was due to another contract with the Army, the Corps of Engineers. Got some new toys, headed to Alaska. Let's just say I declared this one to be defective and had it shipped back to West Tech. Copy some notes below. Please put this holotape on the hammer somewhere, for God's sake. Uh, we don't need some tender-hearted lab rat blowing the whistle on us. Remember how that story about Marilyn got leaked to the shitty Mexican tabloid? Your man in the can, Oscar. Let's see, codename Vulcan Warhammer or Hephaestus Warhammer. Still up for debate. The military fears the grunts might confuse it for the Vulcan cannon. It's basically a seismic sledgehammer designed specifically for use in conjunction with their exoskeleton suits, obviously. Is meant for clearing obstructions like trees, rocks, ice for troops and the armored division movement. Uh, using a high powered magneton, it can create a pulsing shockwave on impact. I'd hate to see what would happen if it was hitting a li living creature. Maybe some Kami will volunteer. Forgive me, Marilyn. My dearest Marilyn, the brain scan failed. I'm so sorry. Yet I refuse to believe this side effect is irreversible. With the current progress on life extending technology happening beneath our feet, it would only be a short while before I reintegrate your mind with your brain. In hopes of expediting this solution, I have reached out to my old colleague at CIT. To my surprise, he gave me starting the report that vault is building a cryogenics facility just outside of the Boston suburb. What are those scoundrels up to this time? He pulled a few strings and sent me a file on the cryogenic chambers. Somehow, they have beaten me to the punch with this one, but alas, I have used the calculations to it to modify one of our canine cryogenic uh, research chambers for human use. I have dressed your body in a polka-dotted dress I found at Elm's tailoring and placed you in a cryogenic stasis. I must admit, I now know how Snow White's prince felt. I will never get up. Give up. All my love, Robert. Okay, so this is his girlfriend, wife, something. Just kind of chilling in a cryogenic tank. Okay weird, but that's fine. Alright. Well. Break the cycle. Go to Blackthorn. I'm going to go ahead and put on my NCR apparel, just so they don't shoot me on sight. Finger guns. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully we don't uh, bugger this up. Alright. I was really expecting that key card to be like, self-destruct, sequence initiated, yada, yada, yada. But, uh, thankfully it didn't. Because that would have been bad. Very bad. Very, very, very bad. Bakum and all that good stuff. Hold up there, Chief. I'm afraid you can't take that hardware onto the base. What do you mean? You have to leave your weapons with me. What's this about? 
We've gotten reports that you've been seen working with those Brotherhood wannabes. True or not, let's just say that makes you a risk. If it's any consolation, I'll log everything to ensure you get all of your items safely returned. Now please hand over your weapons. Do I like? But I'm no traitor. I'm just working to make the frontier a better place is all. There's no arguing. You're a risk. We just can't take the chance you're here to God do more it. than just talk. But I'm the courier, bro. Besides, it's not like I'm just turn. But dude. I don't want to rekey by my weapons, man. Fine, here you go. Thank you. I'll log these in. Just a second to make sure the paper. Here. Bring this ticket back, and I swear to God. Do I have any weapons left or anything? Do they take everything? Yep, they took everything. Well, I'm wearing my Legion armor then. God damn, sons of bitches. I thought I might be able to sneak. Actually, I wonder if I could have went to the army base, uh, the prison first, and then if I would have went, like, just walked here, if I would have been stopped by someone. They probably figured you'd be lazy and take the quickest route, but who's to say? Ah, uh, of course I gotta make an appointment. You must be the visitor to Gate called in. How can I help you? I'm here to speak to General Blackthorn. That's a hell of a request. Sorry, but I gotta ask. Why do you need to see the General? Remember the Crusaders, we're looking to set up a meeting to discuss a peace treaty. Crusaders? Ah, the Brotherhood break-offs or whatever. Gotcha. Glad to see you're willing to extend an olive branch before shit gets ugly between us. My squad had a couple run-ins with your scouts, an exchange of fire, and lost some blood, so excuse me if I'm a little raw about your buddies. It's not like you're those Legion shitheads, but the NCR and the Brotherhood's history ain't sugar and sunshine. In truth, I thought it'd be a bloodbath. It was in one time. But if you're really here to negotiate peace, damn, I really hope you can do it. Actually move us forward for once instead of stuck on old wounds. Well, that's enough shooting the shit for now. Come on, I'll take you to Blackthorn. He's usually in his office around this time. Okay. We, uh... We going, miss? Oh boy, when I love to chat, but I'm already in hot water for goofing around. The last thing I need is another demotion and pay cut. Sorry. Why do you just have a Legion Aureus there? Okay, I'm just gonna go talk to Blackthorn if you're not gonna if you're not gonna come with me, I'm just gonna up here. This is way right, miss. General? I have other things to attend to right now. Please leave. Okay, can I move her around? Come on, miss. Come on, miss. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just get out of this little area. Maybe you'll decide to move. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not going to move you all the way over there, ma'am. Come on. Oh, boy. When I love to chat, but I'm already in hot water for goofing around. The last thing I need Miss, is another please. demotion and pay cut. Sorry. Here, let me get you up against this wall. And I can just do this. <laughs> My god. Nah, I'm gonna reload. It should have happened right as I entered, so... Okay. Now maybe her, uh, you must be the visitor to gate. Stuff blowing the fuck up. I need to speak to Blackthorn. Making peace. After you, ma'am. Miss, after you. Look, I'm gonna fucking come over there. I'm just gonna. Hey. A soup kitchen opened up near the white rabbit. Oh boy. Pretty good I soup. Miss, I'm move. It just says talk to Blackthorn. The last thing I need is another demotion and pay. But I've got to wait for Sorry. her to do something, right? What if I just wait like an hour? 
Will she decide to move after an hour of me just staring blankly at her? Apparently not. Da, 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 da. Let's try this again. Maybe if I talk about some other things first before being like, hey, you must be the visitor to Thorn. We've had some security problems lately. Have you? It's all classified, so don't bother asking. Hence Daugherty in a booth and me playing greeter. Do you mean me breaking your... For the record, I'm not out? thrilled either about having to escort visitors like some damn maid. If they want me to start dusting windows, I'll scream. I need to speak to the general. Crusader. My... It's... But if... Well... Sergeant Hawkins, please move. I'm gonna see if I can just sit down in the fucking chair, maybe. Hello, General Blackthorn. No? We doing this? Okay. I have other things to attend to right now. And I have other things to do other than move this fucking NPC up here because she won't walk. God damn it. Hawkins. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. When okay, I love the it. chat. Let's, let's go. Let's go. I'm already in hot water for goofing Come around. Come on, Hawkins. Let's the go. The last thing I need is another demotion. Come on, Hawkins. Sorry. We're just gonna move you up the stairs again. Apparently, you don't know how to move properly. Come on. Come on, Hawkins. Let's go. Up we go. Damn it. Uh, what was it? F8 for the slower walk. Here we go. Come on. If I'm not running, it'll be easier to get her up the stairs. Come on, Hawkins. Hey, buddy, get out of the way. Come on. I hope if I get you close enough to the general, you'll eventually tell him what you need to tell him so the story progresses. Oh, boy. When I love to chat, but I'm already in hot water for goofing around. The last thing I need is another demotion and pay cut. Sorry. I just gaze deeply into her eyes as I push her. Hey, oh Hawkins, boy, when I love to chat, fucking move. Come on. I'm already in hot water for goofing around. The last thing I need is another demotion and pay cut. Sorry. Almost there. <clears throat> Come on. Come on, Hawkins. Come on, Hawkins. Why the fuck is your goddamn hitbox round oh boy when i love the chat but i'm already in hot water we're just walk around. straight into her and not have like i need to hit the w or, and pay cut. Sorry. Yeah, or a and d key hopefully she just has to be near the general and not like at a specific point okay almost there Almost there. Almost. Oh boy, when I love to chat, but I'm already in hot water for goofing around. The last thing I need is another demotion and pay cut. Sorry. It's a good thing you're decent to look at, Hawkins. General? Sergeant Hawkins here to see you. Oh my god, I know. There you go. Oh boy. Something you I need a courier? Chat, I'm already oh in hot water for goofing around. The last All thing right, I need is another demotion and pain. Um sorry. Let me look at something real quick. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to look up some console commands real quick. Let's see. Quest. Reset quest. Move to QT. Show quest log. Get check completed. Um, command for moving bug quest paths. I need... Hmm. 
So let me see here. Um, show quest log. Crusader head games. Uh, wait, where show quest log is? Eleven nine. I don't. Okay, how did I get? What about get quest completed? Hmm. Okay, that's not working apparently. Ah. Uh, completes all stages of the qu of all quests. That's not what I want. Um, move to QT, show quest log. How did I get the current quest ID? That one time. I forgot how to do it. What's it like? Gives the given quest, removing it from the quest log, where it's often forced you to redo other quests. What if I do a, bu, 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 uh, let's do a quick save real quick, and then move to QT. Okay, she just moved me here. Oh boy, when I love Something you needed, Courier? I'm already in hot water for- What is the, there's a command to like reset AI, I think. If I do reset AI, let me just search AI, I guess. Uh, next. Next, 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 next. There's too many AIs in this fucking page. Uh, let's see. Player manipulation, actor manipulation. Toggle non player combat AI. Toggle that. Control restrain. Player idle. Push actor away. Set scale. Um. Toggle AI, detection, kill all, resurrect. This command will not undo the failure of quest. That doesn't matter. Oh boy. Let me search for quests, I guess. Oh wait, I know how I did it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I got this. Hold on. I need search. Breaking the cycle. Quest, breaking the cycle. Okay, so I need to do set stage and then D9451571. Um, let's go set stage as fucking six. Last thing I need is another demotion and pay cut. Mm. Uh, let me see here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do the same thing, but do five. Sorry. I didn't do shit. Okay. So stage one. Moves the quest in your log to the indicated stage. Recommend command moving past the bug sections of the quest rather than forcing the entire quest to be completed. Ha. Uh, what about 11? I don't understand the stages here. Um, set stage, complete quest ID, show displayed objective. Says whether the objective is blah, 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 blah. Completes all stages of all quests. Give T, no. Well, I don't know if I can uh, do this. Hold on. Oh boy, when I love the chat. Hold on, let me uh, real quick. Yeah, 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 escape. Continue. Uh, but I'm already. So this is breaking the cycle. Just gonna see if there's a known bug about this. Breaking the cycle bug. Huh. Let me see here. 
I'm at breaking the question. I have uh, I talked to Sergeant Hawkins, terminal base, but after she's done talking, she'll says she takes you, but she doesn't move. Okay. You need to update the mod. There's no conflict with the other patches, if I recall. Just put it in over the others, and it should be no problem. Mm. Oof. Well. Um. Shit. Well, from what I'm seeing, there's you have to update the mod, but there's no way to update the mod now since they took it down everywhere. Okay. Mm. Sorry for goofing around. The last thing I need is another demotion and pay cut. Sorry. What if I just pop you there? Oh boy. When Something I look you need, trial, courier. Huh? Okay, let's do this. I'm already in hot water for goofing around. No. The last thing I need is another demotion and. Yeah, no. Shut up. Moment. Sorry. Oh, now y'all want to fight? Okay. That's an F8 to reload. Hawkins, please. Oh boy, when I love the chat, but I'm already in hot water for goofing around. The last thing I need is well. another demotion and pain. Let's check something out. If I just go back to that guy and give him my thing, we'll, we'll just assume that uh, we reunited the NCR and the Crusaders, and they are now friends. And uh, the way that things probably ends is that they launch, launch, they launch a joint strike against the Legion, and we just wipe the floor with them. So, hey, buddy. Yeah. Here's my ticket. Give me my ship. Yeah, let me check that ticket number. I'm just gonna. Just, just gonna. Okay, so that changed his whole. Yeah. On. We'll try one more thing here. Why are you moving, sir? Welcome back. We'll just try this once more. Maybe if I do this, it'll like resync the quest or something. I don't know. Probably not, but it's worth a shot. If this doesn't work, we'll just start exploring the wasteland, and uh, that'll be that. Because she should be just in Blackthorn's office now. So. Oh boy. Oh nope. boy. Okay. I love the chat, That's fair. I'm already in hot water. That's all right. All right, so here's how my idea of how things went goes. We agree, or we talked to Blackthorn. Blackthorn's like, blah, 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 blah. I don't like you guys, blah, 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 yeah. blah. They killed my men at yada, yada, and we're all hissy, pissy about it. Um, <clears throat> and then I was like, yeah, fuck you, buddy. And he was like, oh, or some shit like that. I don't know. But anyway. Through me discussing things with him and being a amazing negotiator, we managed to get Blackthorn to agree to a meetup with Teresa and whatnot. They went to some place in the middle of nowhere, a neutral zone. They discussed things. Then the Legion attacked during this because Rancor's an asshole and tried to get Blackthorn killed or something. I don't know. And then uh, after that we kill Rancor kill the Legion and everything's happening to Dory. And that's where the game ends. For the, the Crusader ending I suppose. Is that how it actually ends? Who knows? But uh, that's how it's gonna end in my uh, my little my little cannon here. So since I can't really progress the main quest any further, 
we'll just start exploring around for the next hour and uh, see if there's any cool side quests we can pick up and check out. Oh my god. Who puts a wall in the middle of fucking nowhere, man? Ah, I made it. Fuck yeah. Who puts a fence around a wall like this? What the fuck? Why would someone do this? That's just rude, man. What gun do I want to use right now? Oh, hold up. Got some red markers. Are they men or are they animals? That's the question. Was this a scav? Just a dead body. Fuck, man. Okay. That was a survival backpack. After jet inhalers. That's a jerry can, it is. Alright, let's take a peek around the building here. See what these things are that are... Oh, that's just a scab front loader. Okay. Don't mind me. Just chilling. Last time I tried to uh, blow up a front loader, it kind of just locked the game. Oh, maybe if I use like this. Did it just throw snow at me? How is that physically possible? Why does it hurt so much when it does? Hey, no, back off. should be a door right there, right? Alright, so let's wait until it's uh, morning, so about 12 hours will be good. Then we'll actually see if there's anything that's obvious here that we can explore. And if not, well, shit. That was a note or something. Ah, right here. Ooh! Ammunition, small little jerry can, fixer, which I don't need. <laughs> Just a bunch of dead scavs, it looks like. Get fucked. Okay. Was there a door on this shack at all, or is it just a... Uh... Well, I guess there was at one point. Would have been right here. But... Looks like that's all this was. Okay. Well, we can head up to... Is that... Zaid's camp? Is that THE Zaid? 
I've known him by the name of Zed, but I'm just saying. All right, let's take a look at that. She's gonna run this way. It's this little outpost. Ah, oh, it's a wrecked outpost with a bear trap there. ka -ching. Free ammo, man. Free ammo. Got a gun on you? Nope. Okay. Alright. Got the marker on the map up here. There's still apparently some, like, salt city. Like, uh, a city that produces salt. There's also the snowmen, which we have no idea what the hell's going on with. What the fuck is that? Are they eating people? Or were they just, uh, just an animal? Ah, they got a bullhorn. That's fair. We should just be coming up on his camp here. Just over this next hill, I think. We'll see what's this. What's this? What's that? Got a power pile on here. Well, it looks like he's not hostile, which is good. At least not yet. Zaid's camp. Hi, it's former Legion. Zaid, I am here to judge you. You need something, kid? Nice mask. Why are you wearing Legion armor? These? No, oh, I took this off one of the explorers I killed. Once I was done scalping him, I realized his armor was pretty well made, all things considered. So I put it on. That's fair. You scalped him? Not just him. Every Legion bastard I come across. The Legion are animals and I hunt animals. I might as well get myself a trophy for the work I do. That's fair. Yeah, I prefer to do it when they're alive and kicking. Makes them realize that their Caesar isn't some grand god that's going to come riding down to save their pathetic life. Oh, they deserve so much. Who do you work for? I used to work for the NCR. Then Bright Town happened. Now, I guess you could say I'm an independent contractor. Speaking of Bright Town, I tried to look up information on it, but I could not find anything. The literal wiki entry for Bright Town was empty. Nothing in it at all. So, I still have no idea what the hell happened to him. Nothing to tell. Okay. See you. Bye, I guess. But what if I kill you? What if I just, just real quick? Oh, God. He just exploded into the bits. Okay. Well, get back to sun. Just had Legion armor. Nothing good on him, actually. Well, rest in peace, Zaid. He didn't need to die, but... Oh, the network bunker. Let's go take a look at that. I still don't know if the, uh, the network quest that I had failed because I... Because one of the iBots died, or if something else happened, but... I don't have the quest for him anymore. But I'm still, like, idolized by the network people, so I'm not sure what the deal is. I really wanted to get more information on the network. It seemed like a cool concept. I'm assuming it's planted into this hill here. Yep. Right, uh, right, right here. Oh, this is Enclave. Yep. This is Enclave. No entry. No entry. Let's see. The control panel will only open if you enter in an uh, If you're an iBot or if you enter in a certain code. Hacker man! Well, hello there, Tenth Eye. I guess they don't want to, like, talk to me. I can press an E to talk, but it's not working. 
message for the courier. Network terminal. Recent reports. Random nonsense. That's how it works. This place is so different. It's nothing like the sanctuary. This is one of the old places. The chieftain warned us about those places. They hold the ghosts from the dark times. Supposedly the ghosts will kill me if I stay here. But if that were true, I would already be dead. He circles, their eyes, metal eyes. I was scared of them at first, but then they're approaching me. I realize that they can't hurt me. They can't hurt anyone. They only see and listen. I can see what they see on the screens. I can even control the eyes with the terminal. It's hard, but it was always a fast learner. The world is so much bigger than we ever knew. No, that's not right. We knew, we just never tried to learn about it. The bleeders were afraid of what was outside the sanctuary. We shut ourselves off from the world, we poisoned ourselves, we died, all because of tradition and values. I'll be like them, I'll survive, I'll make something of myself, the bleeders are dead, but that's the past, my eyes are forward to the future. The network, that's what they'll call me. That's the name they'll use when they ask for my help, my information, this is power, the power of the bleeders lost. I'm not a pathfinder anymore, I'm the tenth eye. The eye of the network of everything, I am the network. And soon the network will run the wasteland. Okay. How about repair logs? No damage, handler inactive. No damage, handler not active. Why I? Something's happening, I'm alive, awake. None of the other iBots are responding to me. They aren't like me. They are sleeping. Okay. I'm not like the other eyes or any other robot. It's my secret, no one holds the truth. It's my power over them, yeah, 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 okay. Current agendas. Identify possible traitorous elements in the Legion and the NCR. NCR Baron uh, Joseph Pax visited the frontier 20 years ago and fathered an illegitimate son. His information can be used against Pax. Awaiting confirmation of identity. Eliminate Betsy Vertok. Must look like an accident. A slaver named Lot blinded one of my eyes near the metro. This will not stand. Acquired a mole in the Legion, Explorer Nero. If manipulated properly, could be uh, turned to the network. Alternatively, this death could be used to my advantage. Okay. I think I know a couple of those people. How's it going, network? A footlocker with uh, network radio. Calls help from a quartet of iBots and an LSR. Okay, I'll take that. I don't care about the radios. Summon stuff, not my thing. Let's read this uh, note for the courier. Hello, courier. If you found this, you're most likely searching the bunker for answers. Who's the 10th eye? This is a question that will never have an answer. But from what I've left, you can make your own truth. Consider the network's gift to you. Okay. So is there anything I can actually do here? There's that terminal that I can use to like hack into stuff with. But is there anything else? It looks like no, there's not. Let's save and let's hack into this. Roll. Uh there's not toll. Not read. Could be hold. Nope. Is there another one that I'm I'm just blind and not seeing? I see roll, hold, read, and toll. But it can't be read. Because it doesn't have three in common with roll, right? Yeah, what? Hold on. We'll just remove some duds. Vision is good, Nash. Okay. Unlock mainframe. Doing this will deactivate all security procedures and leave 
be spam network vulnerable. Eh, that's not. Project logs. Logs from Dr. Martin, head of the spam project. This information is classified using information outside of this facility will consider treason. Okay. Testing continues with adequate pace. The iBots react well to outside stimuli, and their recording functions work better than anticipated. The only seems to be an issue with recording seems to be a few video artifacts, and that's easily correctable. General Mace will be certainly happy with this progress made. Let's just skip a few logs. Five. I've noticed that my iBots have acquired a personality. Some are braver than others. Others patrol the same places every time I send them out. A few have even uh, never have taken to never leave the bunker, even when ordered to. So I think out. Damn it! Why is my hair falling out? Uh, seven. It's been years since my last log. In that time, I've accumulated a legend of sorts. The people want information. They come to the network, to me, the tenth eye. My eye sees all. They record everything and everyone. Mace and his masters wanted to use the spam network for protection, but the network can do so much more. I have the power now. I'm the tenth eye. This will be my last log. I've been bedridden for the last month. I thought I was dying of radiation sickness, but I was changing. They call people like me ghouls, who transform when exposed to a large amount of radiation. I have no skin, but I'm immune to radiation now, and I'm functionally immortal. I have all the time in the world. Interesting. So, this, like, uh, Dr. Martin is the head of the network, I guess. So let's unlock the mainframe. Sure. Talk to Betsy. Who's Betsy? Ah, oh, fuck. Hold that thought. What's this? We'll find out. Is this some, like, shotgun? I can't hold the button down. Dark hero. Folks still think you're some kind of hero, but you can be nasty sometimes. Where's the tenth eye? Can I loot it? Or did it just blast into bits and I can't search it? I was curious what the tenth eye was exactly. Because... Huh. So the guy who... Also, this gun sucks. I'm gonna drop it. <clears throat> The guy who... Dr. Martin was calling himself the Tenth Eye, right? So did he, like, download his mind into a... iBot or something? Is that what happened? So who the fuck is Betsy? Where's she at? Wait. Who is Betsy? Is she outside here? Huh? Wait, what? You're telling me to go into the bunker? It's right here. Let me, let me, hold on, okay, back. Current agenda. One more time, sorry. Betsy Vertok. That's who I'm looking for now, I guess. Wasn't there a, God, in, in one of the towns there was a, a gal named Betsy. But... What? Any of y'all see that, like... thing that ran past the screen right as I came in here? Was that just me? Might have been just me. Um... So real quick, 
It was either Irvington or it was Goose Hollow. I'm thinking it was Irvington. I just need to fucking figure out where that's at. Uh, where was Irvington at? Is it further north? East, maybe? Here we go, Irvington. Okay. Was it. Was it that one lady? No, this is. Was this Betsy? Betsy. No, that's Candy. I'm trying to think. Hold on. No, there was no one here named Betsy. I don't remember anyone in Goosefield named Betsy, though, either. Well, the quest is taking me back to his bunker. I don't know why. There's no one there named Betsy. I would do, like, untrack a quest. That'd be cool, but, uh... I can't. Okay. Let's, uh, go to Adam Galleon's shop. I suppose. See what his uh, shop is like. In the water, please. There we go. Well, we uh, killed the network, I guess. So once we find this Betty lady, we probably sequence broke the quest by doing that stuff, so... More than likely, Betsy was supposed to be, like, there waiting for me after I did that, or something. But, uh... Doesn't really matter. It's right here. Is this it? A galleon shop, huh? Alley on repairs, okay. Does he just uh, sell vehicles or something? Sir? Just gonna. What's this thing? Interesting. Go to the terminal, okay. <laughs> I don't know. He just like started running as soon as he saw me. Sir. Don't run please, sir. Hey, buddy? Welcome to Galeon Repairs. If it's broken, you can be sure that I'll have it working in no time. Okay. Who are you? Adam Galeon. Master fixer-upper, technician, and engineer. What's an engineer? It's an old one. Don't okay. Strange, I can't say I've heard of many people with pit boys around here. How do you know? Oh, I, I, I've i seen them around before. Like... You sure you're not one of the Galeons from, like, the pre-war company? How'd you get setting up a shop all the way out here? Well, uh, after we had long... I mean, after the war. I hid in a basement for a while before setting up shop here. It was a quiet... Strange thing in your arm. This. Oh, this was something I found lying in a rubble pile on my travels. Can I buy some parts? Sorry, I don't really have anything. Can you fix my gear? Yeah, might as well repair all. So, sir, do Good you do to anything? see you again. Oops. Okay, I feel like you're going to be key for something else later. But for now, I'm just going to loot your apartment, see if you have anything cool. Ooh, a record player. That's kind of rare in the wasteland, I think. Is that what he looked like when he was younger? Or is that a picture of his son, father, lover, shrug? Hello there. Safe that I can't open. Three. 
can't have any of this. Well, just a lot of pre-war equipment, it looks like. Nothing that I can make use of. Okay, bye! Well, that was a thing. Um, a crashed monorail train, a downed civilian plane. Oh, the Bleeder Sanctuary. That's kind of lore related. Hey! Fuck off, dude. What are those here? Let's check the down civilian plane, then check out the Bleeder Sanctuary. Whatever the heck the Bleeder Sanctuary is. That sounds like it's where Network came from, if his things were informational. And if he's, like, trying to fight against that Betsy person, maybe she's part of that as well? Oh, that's a tarantula. Die! Okay. I'm gonna ignore those. Out option seven. There we go. Got him. Okay. I want to head to that one. Okay. Nope. nope. Let's go. See anything neat in this downed plane? Probably not. It's probably just a downed plane to use as a landmark or something, but. You never know! Hey, more energy. God damn it, another one? Any more? Huh? The downed civilian plane. Well, let's uh, wait a while so it's daylight, so we actually have some light to work with since we don't have a pip light anymore. Uh, okay. Got a couple of skeletons. A suitcase with some bobby pins in it. Don't mind if I do. Some sexy sleepwear. Don't really care about that. Ah, uh, excuse me? Oh, I was scared for a second. I thought something was like some weird plane monster or something was going to come kick my ass. But I guess it's just a Yao Guai nest right now. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. Well, that being the case, let's, uh, let's just head to the Bleeder Sanctuary, I guess. And we'll see if uh, anything fun is there. Whatever this is. Is that a rabbit a person? That's a rabbit, okay. Keep moving. The Bleeder Sanctuary has been found. Open door. Uh, you've come a long way to die. Well, the least I can do is give you a good death. Last Pathfinder. Um, I'm not here to hurt you. You're not? Hmm. Well, forgive me. I'm not used to company. I honestly thought you were a Legion assassin. Are they ex-Legion? Well, as long as you do no harm to me or Dr. Hurt, you're free to stay here. You have my word as last Pathfinder of the Bleeders. Don't mind the lasers pointed at your face, mate, okay? Hold on, sir. Is there something you require, Appendix? Why does Legion want to kill you? Nah, I doubt it, but I hope so. I'm the last true member of the Bleeders. I represent a threat to Kaisar and should be eliminated. 
though it... Why are you all covered up? I have many scars from the bleedings. I wear these to prevent infection. As long as the wounds are open, which seems unlikely. <laughs> you sound like Dr. Hurt. There is another reason I wear these. Hmm. But that reason... Okay, what's your name? Last Pathfinder. Names don't work in the bleeders like they do in your world. I All warriors are named Selen. All midwives, Utara. And all exiles, Resner. Why are you a uh, last Pathfinder? Well, normally, the Chandria leads the tribe. But in times of war and emergency, a Pathfinder who has absolute power is appointed. But there is no tribe for me to lead. And there never will be again. Okay, what is this place? This is the Bleeder Sanctuary. Once it held the greatest tribe in the frontier. Yeah, it's a graveyard. Okay. What's appendix mean? It means outside. That's fair. Uh, what are some other words? Selling is warrior. Chandria. Okay. Are you alone? No. Dr. Hurt? Don't let his name deceive you. He is... Okay, that's fair. Uh, you seem disappointed didn't fight you? <laughs> you noticed that, huh? Typically, when uh, one began to grow into an advanced age, a young bleeder would... I will die a... I can challenge you if you want. I appreciate... Can I join the bleeders? You. I... Hmm. Well, that could work. To have braved the terrors of the wilderness and stand before me? Yes. You don't want to die the battle? No, bleeder... That's fair. Where do you want to start? Well, first, you must join your blood with that of a full bleeder. I would give you mine, but uh, it's unstable. Well, luckily, Dr. Hurt kept sample. That's fair. Hey, before we do that, though... Is there something... I have some other questions. What happened to him? That is... Who were they? <laughs> the bleeders were a great tribe. Greater than even the snow blind we held. But like all who as the years went on, we lost our territory to the scabs and the snow blinders and you died. Okay. Did you have any beliefs? We believe that a person's Okay. So you believe yourselves. I know it sounds barbaric to an appendix, uh, but there was no pain. That's fair. Uh the survivors the religion, religion, name in history. only I name remained in the life here. Okay. Well, that's all for now. I'm going to find Dr. Hurt, get a transfusion, and join you, and then I can kill you, and then it's going to be uh, wrapped up. Okay. I can definitely see why uh, that guy network left the bleeders. Because they seem like a crazy lot. Yo, 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 Dr. Hurt. What is he at? Oh, I didn't even see him sitting there. Oh, this place looks like shit. Doctor? A visitor. And here I thought we were finally going to get some peace. Ah, I'm just mad. Are you part of the followers? The followers? No, but I've heard good things about them. I'm from a vault, Vault 32. It's a vault full of doctors and psychiatrists. It's home, but to be honest, I was glad to leave. It's fair. What are these books? Medical books. The ones that inspired the bleeders. It seems over time they gained some sort of religious fascination. Don't know where they got the raping and pillaging. Uh-huh. What do you do here? Not much, to be honest. Last Pathfinder handles most things around. Why say that? I guess he could say it's guilt. I know I can't keep him alive forever. I may be able to get over what happened here. Probably. Dr. Hurt, is it? Dr. Zebediah Hurt, that's me. As for the name, well... Let's just say my parents didn't exactly expect me to become a doctor. Of course. Blood transfusion? Hmm. Odd. You don't look like you. Problem? <sighs> look. I know that it's last. 
it's it's wasteful. How would I help him? That I don't know. I'm just gonna say it's not your decision. You're right. All right. Quickest blood transfusion ever. You're a pathfinder. I'm now a bleeder. Tell me your secrets. Is there something? I got the transfusion. I can already see your past is merging with the. You are becoming a bleeder. But. What happens now? Take this book. It contains the rights of the. Under normal circumstances, you would. But the circumstance. It's rare now, but trade. They talk. And from what I've heard. I doubt any worthy beast lies within its walls. That is... I've already been there before, okay. Ooh, whiskey. Irradiated scotch. That's a thing, okay. Ah, yes, the Hunter's Lodge. All the way over the boonies. A oh, butler, I'm home. Butler. I'm guessing it's up. Okay. Meow. I never starts to play before, huh? Let's see. Possible future hunts. Ah! Charles, goddamn! Find and kill the Yeti. Dem bones, dem bones, dem dry bones. Oh my god, really? This is their, their right? It's hilarious. Courier 6 in progress. You assholes. Charles? Yes, my lord. That's all. Carry on. Chip, chip, cheerio. Take those magnum rounds that I'm never going to use, but I like to hoard ammo. It's sort of a thing. Okay. Find and kill the Yeti at the abandoned salt mine. Okay. There's Jave de Grive over there, a pirate cove boat dock, a well-kept mansion, a satellite facility, Salt Town, there's Salt Town, okay, a cave home, a abandoned listening post, a garage, crashed monorail, I'm just looking for other stuff around here, an overgrown cave. Abbreviation of science. Bunch of metros, galley, a federal survival shelter, Frost Lion Resort, a common house, Knob Hill, abandoned home, Fort Harrington, Wolf Den, Hillside, Snowman Encampment, King's Heights, Whisperwind Cave, Snowman Camp, PR Radio, Electric Facility, Industrial Portland Treatment Plant, Gas Work, Abandoned Factory. Okay. So of the things that I saw here, the things that piqued my interest are this well-kept mansion, this place up here, and uh, this overgrown cave. So let's check out the overgrown cave first. We'll just quickly teleport up there, do a quick jog, and we'll head back towards the quest area. So we need to go northeast this way. Okay. Because as simplistic as the overgrown cave sounds, Usually, things like that end up being really uh, interesting. Just gonna toggle collision so I can get up here without having to fucking run the whole way. Toggle collision again, okay. Get wrecked, nerds. Okay, and we run. And we run. So far away. 
Yeah, northeast is where I want to go. Okay. Wreck. Come on. Come on. I hate the slow motion kills. There's got to be a mob that disables that, right? Not that it matters since this is going to be the last time we play. Highway? It is. Interesting. Or it's a monorail. Looks yeah. like some sort of train. Is it up this way? Oh, I've passed it. Oh, I'm going to toggle collision. I want to see what's up here. Mm. Oh, it's, it's a train track. That's cool. Oh. There's actually a deadly generic. Some slave cothers. There's a flame bladed sword. Where do we kill these legionaries? What the fuck? Do they have anything on them? Nah, no, like, notes being like, this motherfucker killed us or something like that. That's fair. I'm just gonna move that sword so it doesn't fuck around there. Okay. Near him. Okay, got the little pip on the map here. A little bit further north, and we will hit the cave. Highly doubt it has anything insanely crazy in it. I think we've got most of the important places. Um, there is still Salt City and whatnot, but I doubt that's too important. Overgrown cave. Interesting. Evergreen cave is what it's called, actually. Okay, well. Let me just look at the local map real quick. Oh boy, it's gonna be a big one, ain't it? Huh. I feel like I can clear these. Is everything here? Nice. Wild Wasteland, huh? I'm guessing if I didn't have Wild Wasteland, either these things wouldn't be here, or they would try to kill me. Is that it? I'll just put my gun away for now. A flamer. Screw this. I've been wandering all over this damn frozen wasteland just so I can get some mythical sap from this ancient tree. You know what? Fuck this. First, it was this magic knife. I had to wrangle off some bird-worshipping psychos. Then this guy comes up to me asking me to escort into this shithole in the ass end of nowhere like it wasn't bad enough. I had to go all the way to get here. But now I had to protect this moron with no combat skills whatsoever. Got sick of him pretty quickly, so we got a bullet in the knee, and now he's... Windigo Chow. And now, after all this, the stupid knife won't even cut into the tree. Screw this, I'm burning the tree down, and the lady who wants the sap can go to hell. That's not a tree, though. That is a uh, stalagmite. <laughs> That's just a random combat knife, too. Is this the tree he was talking about? Oh, and if I take his knife, I'm going I'm to try two things here real quick. First, get the knife. Second, get the flamer. Okay. Okay, looks like there's nothing else here. So, combat knife. No? Okay. Drop that. Next, we try the flamer. Flame on, bitches. Really? It's actually kind of cool. I was not expecting the actual 
like treat it like line of fire and stuff like that. Hold up, I got just the thing for this. There we go. Plasma flamethrower. I don't know uh, who told that man to come in here and to try and get sap from this tree. But I tried to use the knife and it didn't work, so. Rest in peace, tree. Do you suppose there's actually anything past this? No, it's just a caved in area. Okay, that's fair. I was just wondering. Alright, toggle collision. Well, that was kind of worth it, I guess. In a weird sort of way. It was a, it was a neat experience. If nothing else. Alright, so the only other things that were interesting was this uh, area here, which means we got, a, we got a ways to run. So let's start at the icy depths and we'll just head straight west. We can go through Salt Town. Salt Chester. That's right. Explode, motherfucker. Explode! Let's wreck those shits. We gotta head west, so let's go south first. Maybe? Maybe we'll just toggle collision and get on top of this mountain. What up, nerds? Who? Yeah, seriously, these militiamen. Like, the first time they saw me, they just like started to kill me on sight. I wonder if I like walk down that way, is it supposed to like I was just down there actually, wasn't I? So maybe not. Hmm. I was thinking maybe they would like they were like scripted to fall down or something, but that doesn't make sense. Ah! Oh, that almost killed me. God damn. Hey, use the hunter stim packs, achievement unlocked. Nice. Hello, Shaggy Bighorn. I don't know why they're not trying to kill me. Usually things try to kill me out here. Alright. Go a little bit further north. That way we'll hit a... Uh... Snowman Scouts. search and see what that is. Easy. Oh, Alright, what's this then? Hunting rifle, huh? And nothing else. Well, it would have been a lot cooler if something else was here. What's all this then? Empty. Oh, there's five millimeter rounds. Why not? Hmm. Just a military checkpoint. Okay. Well, we'll just head a little bit northwest here then. That should take us to the Salt City. Or at least nearby it anyway. Let's go, motherfuckers! Dude, this is so cool, all of this. Hey, that's a, that's a tree you're running into there, mate. Okay. 
closer we now? I think it would be showing up on my compass by now, but no, it's not. I'm just gonna run past these boys, I'm quick enough. Doesn't matter. Salt City, or is this something else? I'm gonna be Salt City. What is your business here? Nice armor, mate. You here to trade? So be it. We'll open the gate for you. Head towards that well kept mansion. If possible, can we get out of here any other way? Or is that gate literally the only place? Looks like that's the only place. Okay, well, now we go then. This hill or something. Bum, ba, da, da, ba. Fuck it, you know what? Collision off! Da, 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 da. Gonna run over here now. What's this building? Nothing. Just scenery. Okay. I'm still really curious what this, like, lighthouse thing over here is. I'm gonna move my waypoint so it just at least points me the right way. The lighthouse doesn't matter, we're not gonna figure out what, what it is. Bum 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 bum, running away. Bum 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 bum, here we come to day. Let's find this, uh, this well-kept mansion. Maybe it's a, a little home we can move into and party or something. I don't know. Good run. Let's go. Uh, it looks like the Hunter's Lodge almost. That one big horn guy is uh, in a cage where the other ones aren't. Hmm. Let's say hello. Knock, knock, open up the door, it's me. Oh. She has nothing to say to you. I mean, that's fair. I don't really have anything to say to her either. Except uh, this place is mine now. <laughs> okay. Is she the only one here? Seems broken, however, you think it would be a better idea to ask the residents before you tinker with it. Healing a home. Just a guitar. Henry? Nope. Julie? Nope. You want to talk, Julie? No? Okay. I'm gonna keep snooping around your house then. What time is it? I guess it is like 1 a.m. They're probably going to bed. Let me just find a fucking secret murder home or something here somewhere. Nope. No, uh. Really? No, like, murder closet, huh? Well, let's wait until morning or so. Okay.
Those statues never sit right with me. Hey, Julie, why are you being a bitch? Do you have to, like, be somewhere specific when I ask you about it, or...? What's, what's, what's the deal, yo? Because no one wants to talk to me here. I'll wait until she does her, uh, her finished walk here. But if she still doesn't want to talk to me after that, then I'm going to have to... Perhaps kill her. Huh. Did she actually pick something up? Go ahead and sit down, Julie. And she got back up. Okay. Well. And the game crashed. Ha! <laughs> You know what? That's a good place to end it, I guess. Uh, I, I was planning on uh, killing her and then completing the Yeti hunting quest and the other stuff there, but you know what? I don't feel like restarting the game just for that. So, we'll end things here. Um, I've gotten all I need to out of the game, I think. It's a shame we couldn't finish the Crusader ending. Um... But, let me just throw some notes out there. The Crusader thing, if it ends where I think it ends, which is like after the next like quest or so here, where you help the NCR and the Crusaders get together and like work together, and then you assault the Legion together, and now the game ends there. Um, that's really short. It took me like maybe... It would have took me if I would have like actually concentrated on just that story. Two, three hours to finish, I think. With uh, how quickly it went by. Because they had like the initial quest of go get the scripture. And then help, uh, I think it was help Molly quick. And then it was help Molly, Clemens, and Charlene. And then Charlene just fucked off. Uh, and then it was help uh, Clemens like two times, launch a nuke at a satellite, and then do a couple more things, and then that's where we're at now. Um, rather short. I liked it. It made more sense than the, uh, the NCR playthrough. The Crusaders made more sense because, like, you help them get technology. You help them, like, do stuff to further their mission as a people. Um, by, like, getting a soup kitchen running, getting a power armor factory going, uh, security and food and all that good stuff, you know, right? And, uh, with the NCR, it was weird. I don't know. It, it felt too much like an action movie and a very poorly planned out action movie at that with some very gimmicky controls and fly-by-wire stuff that occurred. And, uh, the, the solution to the Enclave was brilliant for the Crusaders. It was like, hey, we have this nuke. Let's just fucking nuke the station. <laughs> and that's it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Loved that part. Um, it was so much better than going up to the space station and fighting it, uh, even though it was like self-destruct is initiated. We're getting a distress signal from this uh, satellite, sir. Uh, do you think we should go up there and, you know, take it out? Um, no, I would just sit back and let it do its thing because the, the AI is like, going rogue right and killing everyone up there anyway so why did we have to go up there to stop that one guy who like was a mad scientist who was doing stuff that he would probably have like like happen anyway i don't know like i feel like the doctor and the ai would have like killed each other at some point and then it would have been fine um but anyway i think like the exploration and like side stuff is really where the game shines or the frontier shines anyway uh the stories themselves were kind of lackluster i never played the legion one mind you uh it, what the legion one could be amazing for all i know 
Uh, but if it's like the Crusader one where it's just a couple of quests here and there, and then you just kill the NCR and Crusaders, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, I may have glitched the Crusader quest line a bit because of the Charlene incident, but uh, I feel like completing a mission and then getting told by, like, Teresa, okay, we're going to kill the Legion and the NCR now, is a little abrupt. There doesn't seem to be any, like, lead up to that. There wasn't like, okay, we're, we're getting units, like, attacked by these groups recently. We had a brawl. There was a Legion skirmish, but nothing on the NCR front really happened that would have been like, okay, we have to kill the NCR now. Um, so I don't know what the deal with that was. It was really abrupt, but... Um, in my eyes, the Crusader one, the Crusader thing, was probably a 7 out of 10. I enjoyed what I played of it. The ending really took away the three points, and the Charlene glitching out thing really probably couldn't be helped, um, at least from my standpoint of it. It was definitely something that could have been helped by having certain triggers for quests matter more. Because I should not have been able to talk to the doctor about my friend had a coma when Charlene was not in a coma. Um, so that was bad. But other than that, I, I had fun with it. It was a good waste of, like, what, how, how many times did we do this? We did, like, 20, 30, 40 hours, maybe? So that was good. So we're, we're done. I'm done with the Frontier. So uh, they'll hopefully be re-releasing it out on the Nexus and everything for you guys to download it, to see it. I think there's still a Discord that you guys can take a look at that might have a downloadable link from there. I don't know. Uh, but it wasn't bad. I don't know. I, uh, yeah. It wasn't entirely bad. It was kind of bad at parts. Like, definitely really bad when it comes to, oh, yeah, the Wendigos? You got to shoot their legs. Like, there's no, no hints or implication there that I saw unless it was, like, somewhere in the lore that I didn't read. Uh, during a conversation about it, but the Wendigo thing kind of pissed me off at one point, which uh, you definitely saw when I was just command line killing all the Wendigos. Uh, if I would have figured out that you could have just shot them in the legs, it would have been so much easier at numerous parts, but never mind. So, that being the case, everyone, next week, what will we be doing? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I... Got a couple of games lined up. I've been uh, looking at stuff that we could do or that I wanted to do. Because um, no new games have come out recently. And it doesn't seem like anything good is going to be coming out in the near future either. Uh, I think on my radar, the most recent or the, the soonest uh, game that's coming out is like Halo Infinity, which releases in, I think, holiday of this year. So it's going to be months for that. And then uh, I also have like Avowed, Fable, uh, Crossfire X, and Stalker 2, and Hightail all on like my watch list, but none of those have like solid release dates. Um, so I don't know. But the game we're going to be playing next time is a favorite of mine. And I say favorite, even though I've only played it like two times with a friend back in the day when I was younger. Uh, but it is called Time Splitters Future Perfect. I got it uh, up and running on a an emulator, so I can play it and stream it here. It's a it's a great, funny kind of first person shooter story thing. Uh, it's gonna be real nostalgic for me playing it. I wish. That I could play it with my friend who I played it with originally because that was some fun times. Uh, I also got Jack and Dexter, the Precursor's Legacy, downloaded um, so we can play that afterwards perhaps. And there's another streamer that I watch who uh, talks about this one game as being her favorite of all time. It's called Rhapsody, a Musical Adventure. It's, uh, I think, PlayStation 1. Um, JRPG kind of game so uh, apparently you can't get through without a crying is a 
what she says according to her. So we'll we'll see if that's the case. If I decide to play that game or not, I don't know. Uh, JRPG would be definitely a commitment to play through, and uh, we would have to see what happens. But uh, <sighs> I'm just starting to ramble, everyone. So uh, next week we'll be starting Time Splitters. It's a first-person shooter, so it should only take like three to four streams to finish, I would say. Uh, they definitely won't be like definitely set two-hour streams because I'm not gonna like end a level or end the stream in the middle of a level. Uh, so some of the levels are a little longer, some are shorter. I think there's like five or six levels. So if we average one to two levels each stream, we should have it done and then all that good stuff. But uh, anyway, that'll be all for me. I'm like I said, I'm starting to ramble. So we'll just end things for here and uh, look out on the horizon because once I get some artwork from some artists done, some things will be changing. So until next time, everyone, bye for now.